On this back, we're looking at problem number two for lesson three. Uh, we need to know the fact that one kilometer is a thousand meters. That's going to help us fill out these tables. All right, we just got to complete the table. What is the interpretation of the constant of proportionality in each case? All right, so number one, let's complete the table. All right, so if one kilometer is a thousand meters, let's think about what our constant is to get us from meters to kilometers. Well, think of your multiplier here. We're going to multiply by something to shrink it so uh, it's just going to be their division, which is 1,000. If you type it in the calculator, you do 1 divided by 1,000, you get 0 .001. And that might be easier for some of you to see, but for the next table's purposes, let's just write 1,000th. So we take 1,000th and we multiply by the number, and we get over here the kilometers. All right, that's our constant of proportionality. So um, we want to multiply all of these by 1,000. So if we do that for 250 and we multiply by 1,000th, you can see how it just becomes 250 over 1,000, which is just a fancy way to write 1 quarter. So if you go 250 meters, you've gone a quarter of a kilometer. 12, we're expecting that to be a much smaller fraction. It's going to be 12 out of 1,000 when you multiply uh, 12 over 1 multiplied by 1 over 1,000. That's going to give you 12,000. And that will reduce 6 and 500, 3 and 250. And 3 over 250 is the best we can get because that will not reduce any further. I'm just reducing this with the common factor there of uh, 4. 4 goes into that. It's 33 times and it goes into 1,000. 250 times. So just reduction. Uh, this last one should be pretty simple. Anytime you multiply 1 by something, it stays itself, so it's a thousandth of its size. All right? Now, you'll notice that the, the big thing that they changed over here on this right uh, table is kilometers and meters have just switched places. And that just means that your constant of proportionality is going to flip into its reciprocal. So instead of multiplying by a thousandth, we're just going to multiply by a thousandth. And that's a lot easier math to do. 5 times 1,000 is 5,000. You know, 20 times 1,000 is 20,000. This one might be tougher for you to do. What's 1,000 multiplied by 0 0.3? That's just going to move your decimal three places to the right. So 1, 2, 3. That would be the same as 300 meters. It's the same as 3 tenths of a kilometer. Uh, what is the interpretation of the constant of proportionality in each case? Well, the constant is the conversion of meters to kilometers. I mean, 1,000 versus 1,000. It's just the, the conversion for meters to kilometers. That's all that constant is telling you. It's either 1,000 times bigger or 1,000 of its size, which is what we see in the first version. What is the relationship between the two constants? They are, big fancy word, I'm not going to write it so the copiers don't get on here and just write it down. It's reciprocals. They're reciprocals. A thousand and one one thousandth are reciprocals. They're just flipped over from each other. So write that word down for problem number two if you want credit.